Hello everyone, welcome back again. In today's tutorial, we learned about mean functions in Julia. So, in the previous tutorial, we learned that we have arithmetic mean, the other forms of mean that are quite useful when you are doing statistics. So, we're going through them. So, the first of all, the normal mean that Julia comes with is the arithmetic mean. So, arithmetic mean, arithmetic mean. for example, let's say you have a, da a data like, let's say, x is equal to something simple so that you be able to understand it well 2 and then 4 so if you want to find the arithmetic mean of it just go straight away with mean mean not mean eh? okay mean okay so that is the arithmetic mean so that from the previous we learned that arithmetic mean is the sum of this value so you're adding this one and this one divided by the length uh, divided by the length of the values so that is two values so it's going to give us the same value so this is the arithmetic mean so let's check again another form of mean that we can also do there's also the harmonic mean so you want to do the harmonic mean well, the harmonic mean is usually used to find the average of ratios of a central location so usually is a reciprocal of arithmetic mean the reciprocal of this mean reciprocal so so that means that you are going to find everything inverse or reciprocal of it so to use it you have to first of all add this package pkg if you if you don't if you don't have it already start base which you already starts there are a lot of packages start base right so if you don't have it you can just add this package but if you already have installed it you just go straight away with using small u not capital u and then start this so after that you can be able to do more functionalities of the harmonic mean so to do the harmonic mean you just go straight away with harm mean and then you put the value there so we'll be explaining it further so it's two points so as I was saying that the harmonic mean is the reciprocal of the arithmetic mean that means that they are going to find the reciprocal of this so it's going to be like this yeah, first of all going to have this is just two values so it's going to be 2 right divided by the reciprocal of this value which is 1 divided by 2 then plus again 1 divided by 4 because this, this 2 is 2 over 1, 4 over 1. So we are going to find the reciprocal of it. And then you see that it's given us the same value. So that is the concept about the harmonic mean. So let's check another thing that you can also do. You can also do the geographic mean or geometric mean rather. So geometric mean, let's go further. Let me give some space. So for the geometric mean is geo mean. So it's going to just calculate it perfectly for us. 2.83 usually the geometric mean is for example if you have several data or several data or let's say you have one company and then they have two different departments maybe the finance department and then the environmental department but maybe the finance department the, their ratio is quite good and then for the environmental it is not all that good if you want to normalize these ranges you want to normalize these ratios you can use this geometric mean so for example if you want to do that so actually it's it's just like this it's going to take this value we have s score to 2 and then 4 right which was our value so maybe it's, we are using this one as an example so if the geometric mean is like you are going to find the product of this instead of the sum of it you're going to find the product so it's going to be like this 2 and then 4 right that's the product of this and then you are going to square this based on the number so because there are two values here you are going to square them in case there were three values you, you cube them if there are four values you put them to the fourth value so it's going to be like this because this one is a two values you're just going to go with the square which is already an inbuilt function in julia let me copy this one and paste it here so it's going to give us exactly the same thing 2.8 so that's the ge geometric mean so in case we have something like this uh, yeah. 
something like this, right? You can't use this square. This formula will not work because this one is having four, four values. So it's going to be like this. You do the geomy. Um, mm -mm -mm. Geomy, right? Of this value, this new value that we have. 4.23 which is this 4.23 means that you are going to do it like this if you are if you are using a long procedure it's going to be two and then uh, let me copy this one right I'm going to find the product of this all these numbers so after finding the product of all these numbers three two zero and you are going to raise it to the power of this like you're going to use a square but you're going to bring it to the four foot by the way I don't know whether there's something go for it the four truth of this entire value that you have of this entire value so that is the main concept about it so this is going to just do it perfectly for you so thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution you can put it inside the question section a uh, comment section so that all of us can also benefit thank you for watching and stay blessed